Welcome everybody back to another podcast reaction. I'm Lindsay. I'm Carson. And today we are watching One Piece episodes 66 and 67. Leave a like, subscribe, and you can check out our Patreon to get up to two weeks ahead on Uncut Reactions. Let's go. In the name of the Baroque Works boss. Because they yeah. don't know his name. <laughs> so there's Usopp, but next level he doesn't he doesn't even he can just do do that. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. It's Mary Poppins. <laughs> if we just leave without without having any resolution. Yeah, this, this isn't. I'm not getting involved in this. They just go on. Nami's like the thing adjusted. Let's go. What will happen to the kingdom? Stop. What did he flick his booger at him? Does he have exploding boogers? Does this man have exploding boogers? It's quite disgusting. Oh. You're gonna buy her like literally one second with how bad you are. And how she isn't even running. Yeah. I hate this power. Is that a devil fruit? She didn't Turn even your run away. Snot into nitroglycerin. Yeah, you sacrifice you yourself. Idiot. Help us! It's like no. You killed everyone here. Why would I help you? Hmm. What's her power? The lemon fruit. She just ate a lemon and then thought that it was a <laughs> devil fruit and made her entire personality around it, but it wasn't. Hmm. To the east? Can you go to the east? Isn't Maybe the east back like, to the east blue? You can go east within the Grand Line. But they came from the east. <laughs> We're broke. <laughs> We're actually a really small kingdom. <laughs> yeah. Having a full conversation. <laughs> Go get Sanji. I remember that. The interest. <laughs> How do you expect to keep your promise to be the great best yeah. swordsman if you can't even pay back some money? Don't care, didn't ask. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Why exactly did they join Baroque Works, I wonder? <laughs> Shit. Why? Because they're, they're friends. Hmm. 
what good people they kind of were. <laughs> they killed so many fucking people. <laughs> they killed innocent villagers, didn't they? Or are they now saying that, that w they were there before they got there and they were just being menacing for no reason? They showed up to an empty town or did they kill all the people who lived here? What the fuck? No, I'm not even, not even like using a ranged attack. Some bad day for Miss Monday. Jesus. Keep going. Mm -mm. But only once. I could only be on my phone one time. Oh, can she change her weight? Yeah. Oh. That's Ki cool. Kilo as in kilogram. Mm. Oh. Yeah. She just squashed. Fuck. Mihawk style. <laughs> Are you serious right now? Get on the boat. <laughs> and why are you working for them? Oh. Oh, is it's that a really pyramid an ideal, scheme. Yeah, is that really a, an ideal nation? Zero. Hmm. It's Lelouch. Oh, that's what the numbers mean. I see. And then there's also just like Wednesday, Monday, yeah. Miss Valentine. Finally, a worthy opponent. Okay, never mind. <laughs> what? What do you want? What now? What? By ju jumping on him? Or, oh, is he mad? He thinks that it was just villagers? Oh. And he thinks that he just beat up the town that, like, gave him Zora, a why'd food? you kill all those people, you fucking asshole? Why'd you kill those chefs? It <laughs> 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 wasn't like that. There this is a very unfortunate game of telephone, Luffy. I don't know why you... Why you believe that <laughs> one armed person. man over me? Your first mate. <laughs> Just walk. <laughs> Come on. Luffy, you're, I you're love fumbling right now, my man. <laughs> I love how the one time that he's not like locked in a cage or trapped underwater and he actually joins the fight, it's the wrong fight. He's nerfed still because he's still full of food and then he he's fighting his own teammate. <laughs> Run, you fool! He'll be knocked out now. That's, that's cool. It makes sense why they're paired together. You just like smack him around. Literally like it was nothing. Luffy. 
<sighs> so you would think that if you were dumb. <laughs> oh my god, they all are so <laughs> dumb. They suck so bad. It's awesome. The best fight is just a fight of misunderstanding between teammates, and they've been hyping up everything. Every step of the way, they keep hyping shit up, and they're just like, nope. Turns out everybody either is has a secret identity or is a complete fucking moron. I love it. Kitty! Whoa. <laughs> This is sick! <laughs> I was gonna say, oh no, they're destroying the town, but like, the people who live, like, I don't, I don't know if anyone's gonna be living here that much longer. I would hazard to guess not. Unless by living you mean residing in the ground. <laughs> Just go around. Is Nami or someone gonna come up and be like, what are you guys doing right now? Shit. How'd she even get out of there? Like... I'm just gonna get sliced up and just... Nice. <laughs> this shit is so silly. Oh my god. <laughs> that was really funny though. I love it. It's fucking awesome. I think we do have to like re we have yeah. to switch it up because the next episode is uh is uh I think along with this. So we'll we'll yeah. do you wanna just do the next one real quick? Come on. Sure. Come on then. Unless okay. you're unless you're too tired. I could probably do one more, but that's okay. it. I love the fight animation for them. Just epic as shit out of nowhere. So good. It seems it's fighting those other guys, and she's like, ah, it's like they're so everyone's it like. It feels so like Luffy changed or not Luffy. Oda changed his mind. Every chapter this must have been coming out. It was just like there was this organization, then there was this, then there was this princess, and then these people were a badass. Just kidding. They still were. But they're dumb. But Luffy's even more dumb. <laughs> it's like first we get introduced to the two to uh, fucking Vivi and uh, whatever is what was that guy's name? Mr. Nine. Yeah, and they're like, they they're seem to be just like Team Rocket, and that's the whole point of them. And just everything, and then somehow it's we got so to the point where she's good. a princess undercover in a bounty hunter company who wants to start a nation and is trying to wage war and on Alabama scheme and it's a pyramid scheme and the agents that were like and the people that they were involved with like they were supposed to be badasses in their own right and there's supposed to be this yeah. big hundred man fight turns out then it's revealed all that shit and then the real to a couple of real badasses are introduced for like a badass fight maybe between Zoro and, and Luffy and them or something or Zoro to 1v2 them or something mm -hmm. no turns out that, like how how many times is he just like, no, you know, I don't like this. Let's change it up and make it even yeah. dumber <laughs> and even more dumb. <laughs> like, but not even like but it's not dumb. It's, it's just not silly. no, it's not. It's not. It's just silly. I love it. I I love how it's just like completely unpredictable. And I just love it because it's like, oh, we're going to the Grand Line, and I just feel like, I feel like in a different story there would be so much expectations put on the Grand Line of like, as soon as we get in there, the story can't be silly anymore. Yeah. It has to be like super badass. It has to be super crazy. Or and it I just needs love, to be really formulaic. Yeah, I just I just love like we get there, there's like this whale and it's like, oh my God, this crazy whale, it ate them. And then it's like, oh, actually he was just sad and like, you know, got, got a broken promise. And then it's like, oh, there's like this, oh, there's this nice town. Oh, just kidding. It's not like, it's like switching it up, but it's not just like, being unnecessarily like crazy. I mean, it's being crazy, but not in like a, oh, everything's super violent all of a sudden, or, you know, nothing's funny anymore. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. it's just, it's fun. I like it. Yeah. Well, leave a like and subscribe.
Yep. Uh, moving right along to the next one. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Apparently a really controversial episode, as we've found out since recording the last mm -hmm. episode. I read the title. I, I, I accidentally read it when we were picking the episode. And yeah, apparently, according to our Patreon comments, I, we were kind of right that, like, it was very spontaneous. <laughs> <laughs> just the, everything about all, this. Just everything that's happened so far. And the speculation that this may have been an editor pressure moment of mm. wanting to make these guys fight, but we don't really care. It's obviously a joke. Mm -hmm. So, this is a weird shot, though. I don't know what who did this clip art there, but... <laughs> <laughs> what is mode? I keep meaning to ask that. Just English word. Just cool English word. It's boob mode. <laughs> okay. What? I just fi figured you murdered this village full of nice people just because you didn't like the food. What? <laughs> One billion is a bit steep. It's like almost completely destroyed and you're asking me for money? Was it taken over by Baroque works? <laughs> so an artificial uprising caused by an outside mm -hmm. operation, possibly hired by a neighboring kingdom to cause chaos. It's pretty bold to, like, go yourself. She's probably sent away. Oh, they just want to take over her kingdom. Yeah. Oh, maybe, yeah. Oh, right, they did say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. An ideal nation for who? The ones at the top, most likely. Uh, yes. I see how this is all connected and planned from the beginning. <laughs> so you're telling me, you, the princess of this area, got invaded by pirates, and your power usurped. Where have I seen that before? Kaya, Nami, and now her. <laughs> Seven oh. warlords? Crocodile. Mm. Mihawk is apparently one of the seven warlords mm -hmm. of the sea. Well, if he's on the power level of Mihawk, I feel like they probably wouldn't be able to defeat him. <laughs> Luffy's like, cool! Zoro's like, <laughs> and they're just like, oh, this is perfect. <laughs> yeah, that's unfortunate. Were they saying that the war, that Crocodile is the leader of Baroque Works yeah. entirely, or I I thought maybe just like the top guy who was like invading them. I wasn't I wasn't quite sure. I think they were saying that it was the leader. He's dr <laughs> Shoot that fucker down. Where's Usopp? I know. Yeah, Usopp. <laughs> he was like, cool. I love having wanted posters and things similar to that. <laughs> that was my question. I love the hair. The hair is a serious improvement. I disagree. <laughs> oh. 
Um, I mean, I guess the thing is, is if it's on the way, they might as well, because they have to go there anyway. <laughs> He's like, well, it's less than three times my bounty, so I'm not scared. <laughs> He's already in it. He's already method. <laughs> It doesn't need to be set. Mm. This always leads you to Alabasta? Mm. So you don't have to keep. Oh. So I guess with that, you could technically go to a different, like you could jump into a different line or something like that. You wouldn't have to go, like, you could... Yeah. Yeah, if it just... Some, it, if well, someone happened to be... Well, because the long poses, like, just go to, from one to the other. Yeah. But if you know the direction of where to go, that's the only difference. Is... Mm -hmm. Although I still don't get why they can't just use the sun and the stars for direction. They have because to use the, like a like compass. Because everything, apparently everything is so unreliable that they just can't. What? Oh my god. You better get that thing. Well we wonder if you guys weren't like out in broad daylight in the in the on the shore there. Holy fuck! Just like that? Jesus! Oh, Yeah, she wasn't there when Zoro just lost to one of the warlords. <laughs> 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 the warlords, those are nothing. Except that one time. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That was fucking crazy. Was that rigged up or did they just like- I think they just like- Bombed him. Was it was it the fucking bird? Oh, maybe. They drop a nuke on him? Or maybe, oh look, maybe that was crocodile? Mm -mm. A decoy. Shit, I instantly found out. You better run. What the hell? No, they're knocked out, you idiot. They're drunk. No, they're knocked out from being dragged across the floor. Oh, never mind. <laughs> You're probably the right. The duck is missing. Oh. <laughs> 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 I love that. His name's Karu, I think. Mr. Bushido. Bushido means like way of the warrior. Mm. So you're aware. Well, we just killed like a hundred of them, so. And it was literally nothing. It was literally nothing at all. You are about six episodes behind. Yeah. We are in crisis mode right now. <laughs> Lucky. I wouldn't really be sure about that. Oh. She's there? <laughs> Who cares about that two seconds ago? He was a good man! <laughs> All Sunday. All Sunday. She's by herself. She's so badass. Oh, no. Oh. 
She have a devil fruit that like explodes things. Well, that other guy kind of had that. Yeah. Yeah. And she. Wait, what? Telekinesis? <laughs> the hell is she doing? Is it literally telekinesis? You haven't been given any orders. You just so you just murdered a man and bombed that ship ship for no reason. Double hat. Was this Jojo? It's like carniv carnivorous plants. What gave you that idea? It's called a little garden, and she's like, I won't even have to do anything. I know it's. I just know that's like a prediction thing that's gonna be oh. right randomly. Oh, what is is she not bad or something? What if I want to go to a little garden? Not even what, what was your deal blowing up the other guy? Yeah, and then, what the and fuck is going on here? This? Nanimonai. Luffy? You can't just be doing shit like that. Even if you're not gonna use it, you can't be doing that. Like, you could at least keep it just in case. Oh. Right! <laughs> <laughs> how are you gonna get out of here? Oh, her boat is. There. I love how like the Wait, super bunchy. Hey, that's cute. You smoking a cigar? A sea king? What the fuck? <laughs> this is all really confusing. <laughs> that was such a weird interaction. This whole episode was such a, like, I, well, this whole little arc has This whole begun. arc had so many fucking crazy twists and turns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she said that like she was. Forest of Death. Oh. It's a, just a little garden for a giant. Yeah, giant. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I mean, like a giant, and I'm like, just a giant. <laughs> What'd you think of that episode? Yet another absolutely insane episode. Uh, possibly the craziest yet. That was actually <laughs> crazy. What was that guy's name again? Uh, Ingram. Uh, Ingram. When he got blown up, that was actually just kind of horrific. But then it yeah, was that so, was shocking. It was so, it, the, especially after that, it was just like whiplash because then she comes on the boat and then everyone's like, and then they're like, wait a minute. And then they're like, oh, so she's good. And it's like, you for, Luffy's the only one like had, had his head on straight. He's like, D did you guys just forget that like two seconds ago, she blew that <laughs> guy up? Like, what are we on here? And then, but she's just like extra confusing because she's just like, 
given them oh, shit? Oh, I don't hate you guys. I just blew up that other guy. I wasn't given any orders, except that I was literally given orders to kill you, except, uh, like, yeah. if it's just, she's just so back and forth. Oh, you can go just here into Sunday my probably here. a trap. And then it's like, oh, well, no, but, oh, well, at least I'm going to watch you at the little garden. Like, she's, <laughs> she's just so crazy. It's funny, though. I wonder if there, if it's like, so there's, a kind, it seems like Oda has kind of a pattern with characters. Like, they're maybe she's like because she's they're trying to get away, and if she's working with Crocodile, then maybe she and she's like helping them to get away. Mm-hmm. Is she maybe like trying to help them get away to like go <laughs> against that or something? I honestly have no idea because this like I can't read a lot of this because it's so. It feels like Oda changed his mind like 50 times. It's, so, it's hard. And which is to, yeah. which is interesting, I'm saying. It's not like, uh, I'm not saying it's bad, it's just bad writing. It's just hard to see what's like, going to happen Usually next. when you're predicting a story, it's, it's you're following, it's like the story's following a, a familiar pattern. Mm-hmm. But like the pattern has like swift, shifted between like 15 different things. So I don't have a great read on it. But there's a pattern like I was saying during the episode of like, Kaya, princess of the village village gets invaded by pirates who want who want to like live there mm-hmm. and then she you know they they and her power is usurped and then by the end of the arc there's a big battle and they fight and then she gets her power mm-hmm. back and everything's good nami she's not the princess but she's like the one girl with like a <laughs> daughter of the you know girl who's like you know kind of the, the main the main child, figure yeah. of the, you know everybody looks up to these people and um uh, power is usurped by pirates who come in and invade, and then sh- they she's like working with the pirates to like uh, on, as a double agent to do what she needs to do mm-hmm. to like save her position. Is this gonna be the? And then we have Vivi, who <laughs> princess of a mm-hmm. kingdom, has is invaded by. Baroque works, which is not quite the same as pirates, but they it's got a Jolly Roger, pretty right. much the it's same. Like, it's like then you- she's so she's a princess. Then she gets driven out. Her power is usurped by these people who want to like live there, and then she becomes a rogue, much like Nami, to try in playing the long game to try and mm-hmm. get her country back. And then we have this lady who is helping the people who are working against the interests of. her her boss, she's the one person who is closest to this person, much like, it is seeming much like an Ar- a Nami Arlong relationship, sort of. Mm-mm. Maybe? I don't know. I was also thinking, like, she could be kind of like a, like a Hisoka kind of character of just, <clears throat> just like she wants a little bit of chaos because she's like, she had some kind of line about like, oh, I don't hate, like, it wasn't free spirited, but she she doesn't hate like people who are really going for it, kind of. So then it's like, oh, you guys are like running away and like doing this and that. So I'll just see what happens with you. Basically, it's it seems like she was more of like a like she's like the the second in command of this organization, but she has a little bit of free reign to kind of do what she wants and like mess around a bit. I guess. Yeah, I don't know. But, yeah, it's just, it's very, it's kind of insane. I don't know what to think about it, yeah. really. But the one thing is, like, Vivi at the end was like, oh, I don't know if I should be on this ship. I'll probably just cause trouble for you all. Like, as if she hadn't already been on the ship. Like, I know the point is that she was kind of pretending before, but she also had a relationship with uh, whatever his name was. The what, what guy was a king. Mr. Nine. Yeah. Like I know, I know that she was like partly playing a part, but it's like it's you just can it, cause it, trouble with us. It for feels like emblematic of the whole like of of Oda like scrambling to figure out what he wants, and now the character is essentially like a completely different entity to what it was when we first sh- when we <laughs> first got to the Grand Line and with the with uh, Laboon and everything. Mm-hmm. It's like the character is so different that it's as if that didn't even happen, <laughs> and I, for the purposes of this character dynamic and like what the story is setting up for obviously it did happen but it's just like so much change that i i wonder if oda like literally just forgot that or not not forgot as a strong undercover i know i'm not saying it doesn't make sense that that it's but it's just not brought up and i think that that's not just like to it it, i don't you see what i'm saying i know what you're saying like it, it feels very like uh the he probably, he, it seemed like he didn't exactly know what he wanted to do. And this little arc was like 
kind of giving him time to figure that out. And then near, and then in the middle of the the battle mm -hmm. with Zoro versus all those guys, he oh Baroque works, and then it seemed like from out of there he like spiraled out into an entire like subplot. Yeah. Oh Baroque works. That's an it's a thing. Well, maybe they're not quite pirates. Maybe there's some quite. And then it's like oh they want to create like and you could you, it's it's like he created oh Baroque works. There's an organization. And then from, as the fight went on, he just kind of in the background was like mm -hmm. cooking up a whole backstory and a whole subplot and a kingdom and a whole different shit. And then he's like, okay, well, how do I get there? And then, you know, it, it just like, he, mm -hmm. he need it seemed like he needed this little short arc to try and figure out what they, what he was going to do next and just give it a few weeks, give it a few chapters, just churn it out. It'll be fun. We'll have some, maybe that's partially why there was that, um, the fight between Zoro and Luffy mm. to help give time and give the fans what they want in the meantime. What's gonna come next. Maybe he like asks his editor like, "What should I do here?" <laughs> like, you know, is there or you know, maybe he was taking input. You know, like uh, maybe Just that's why that what, happened. What the story was gonna be like. What yeah, was yeah. Um, yeah. So I and I, so I don't know. That's just, that's just what I. That's the feeling I get from watching this last little arc, but. Uh, I really loved it. It was so fun. Like it just, uh, just the zany, insane, unpredictable nature of everything, and characters acting just weird. It was just, and characters changing from one thing to the next, like in a way. Like I love it because it's in a way that very much feels like it was not planned to be like a reveal. Like when the characters first introduced, it's like, oh yeah, this this is a princess who's undercover, and this is her bodyguard. It's like, I, I got that vibe zero. <laughs> from when all that, these all this started it's because it wasn't <laughs> and i wouldn't have it any other way because it's so much more fun mm -hmm. it's so much more fun this way none of this was real until i said so yeah um but it's just interesting to note to, to sort of examine things like that i guess very mm -hmm. cool leave a like and subscribe we'll see you guys in the next one i'm carson i'm Lindsay. bye, -bye.